This is an optimization guide for the newly launched MMORPG, Where Winds Meet. We'll recommend the optimized graphics settings for the RTX 3060 desktop and the RTX 4060 mobile. Since getting to 60 FPS is fairly easy with upscaling alone, we'll be targeting 120 to 160 FPS, 120 to 130 at 1440p and 160 FPS at 1080p. At 1080p, you have to go with balanced upscaling, yes, NVIDIA frame gen enabled, and all you have to do is set vegetation quality to medium and view distance to high. Everything else is maxed out. This should get you a consistent 140 to 160 FPS. Fourteen forty P requires more sacrifices. For reference, this is sixteen hundred P. DLSS is set to performance mode with frame gen enabled. Uh, vegetation quality is set to low. View distance is set to medium, and reflection quality is set to low. The rest is maxed out. These settings should yield a consistent hundred and thirty to hundred and forty FPS. Most of these drops that you're seeing below 130 go away once you stop recording. That's a recording overhead there.
Vegetation quality is the most taxing setting in this game. It adjusts the vegetation density, the grass density, for patches that are at an intermediate or distant distances from the player. Vegetation in the immediate vicinity of the player character is largely unaffected. The other setting that we tweaked is view distance which sets the LOD for everything except vegetation. This includes buildings, decals, and clutter. At lower settings you'll see more pop in as higher quality textures and assets are replaced by lower quality ones as you move farther away from them and vice versa.
This game features some form of ray trace shadows, but whatever it is, it's pretty low res, very few rays cast. It just adds a bit to the shadow detail without much contact hardening. The softness is the same throughout. On the plus side, it doesn't really hurt performance either, so just leave it enabled. <laughs> 